You got a right. You got a right to praise Him. You want to praise the Lord. Got a right. You got a right to praise Him. You want to praise the Lord. Got a right.
miracle. Oh, we decree that a miracle. Hallelujah. A miracle can happen now. For the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. Jesus. The evidence. The evidence is all around. And the Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord. Oh, overflow in this place. Overflow in this place. Fill our hearts with your love. Your love surrounds us. You're the reason. You're the only reason. Your love, your love surrounds the Spirit of God. Spirit of God, fall fresh on us. We need your presence. Your kingdom come, your will be done here as in heaven. The Spirit of God, Spirit of God, fall fresh on us. We need your presence. Your kingdom come, your lift our hands before the living God. Yes, Heavenly Father, we have praised you and worshiped you in yes, sincerity Lord. of heart, and we're so grateful that the Spirit of God is poured out upon us. You strengthen us by your Spirit. You encourage us by your Spirit. You lead us by your Spirit. You manifest your gifts to us by your Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all that you do in us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, how you bless our life, how you enrich our life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You, now lift your heart before the Lord. And let's just worship him in the spirit. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord. Oriana Maria la Maboko, Riana Mariana Maria la Maboko. We bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, we bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 We bless you, Lord. Say it with me. We bless you, Lord. 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 Oh, Maria, la Maria, la Maria. Oh, Maria, la Maria. Oriana ma boko, Oriana ma, Iala ma, Iala ma boko, Oriana ma, Iala ma, Iala ma boko, Iala ma. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Or 
Rianama, Sidi Alama, Ialama Boko Rada, Ialama Sidi Alama, Ia Shialama Sia Boko Radaba, Iki Shialama Sidi Alaba Boko Radaba, Ayalama Sidi Alama Boko Rialama You've said in your heart, I'm waiting for times of refreshing. Those times are here, saith the Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've said in your heart, I'm waiting to be lifted up. That time is here, saith the Lord. You've said in your heart, I'm waiting to be encouraged. That time is here, saith the Lord. Be lifted up. Be encouraged. Winds of refreshing are blowing through the upper rooms of your heart, saith the Lord. I have come to refresh you. I have come to strengthen you. I have come to encourage you, saith the Lord. This is your new season, saith God. This is your new time, saith the Lord. This is deep waters calling to deep waters, saith the Lord. Rise up, saith God. Rise up and be encouraged, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oradamasi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 Glory! 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! No old stale religiosity for you. You want the fresh manna. You want the living water. You want the winds blowing in the upper room. Religiosity does not satisfy the soul. But what comes from heaven, the winds of heaven, the glories of heaven, that's what's touching your life. That's what's encouraging you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 The Spirit says, I will rain manna out on you, but you have to gather it up. I will rain it every day, but you have to gather it up. You have to gather it up every single day. That which is stored will not do you any good. The yesterdays will not do you any good. But the todays, the todays, the today experience with me, saith the Spirit. I will rain manna on you. Will you gather it up? Or will you just watch it rot on the ground? Fresh revelation, fresh anointing, fresh wisdom, fresh manifestation, fresh power. I'll rain it out. Will you gather it up? Will you gather it up, saith the Lord? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oriana Maria la Maria la Ma. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Nobody goes home sick. Nobody goes home cast down. Everybody goes home strong and encouraged. So lay hands on your body right now and say, My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It is strong and healthy. From the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, from the inside to the outside. Every cell of my body lines up with the will of God, which is health and healing, in Jesus' name. I'm healthy all the days of my life. My mind is strong. The Spirit of God just spoke to me. Someone is very, very concerned about the dimming of the mind. And I'm going to deliver you of that right now in the name of Jesus. No, God gave you a good mind. God gave you sharp mind, clear thinking. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you and I remove that fear from you right now. I break that family thing. I break it in the name of Jesus. I speak. You have clarity of thought. You have a good mind, sharp mind. Hallelujah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You have a good mind and a sharp mind. I don't care what's happened to mom. I don't care what's happened to granddad. No, that's not, that doesn't affect you. The curse has been lifted off of you. Hallelujah. Just don't give it any thought anymore. God's dealt with it. Don't give it any thought anymore. God's dealt with it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what the, this is what the Spirit says to you. You've walked through the house and you couldn't find your keys and you thought, uh-oh, what was on grandpa's getting on me? And that's just a lie of the devil. Everybody in this room couldn't find their keys one time or another. <laughs> Young people can't find their keys. Young people can't find their shoes half the time. Mom, where are my shoes? Come on. It's just because we've got a lot going on in our head. It's not that. Come on. Amen. Amen. But you have thought that because you couldn't find something just for a moment. You thought, uh-oh. Listen, no. That's a lie. That's a fear. That's not for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're delivered of that right now. So let's give the Lord praise for that deliverance. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And can we just say that in, in just in, in general terms that when we get a little, you know, a little itch or pain or something that we don't stop and give the devil credit for something and say, uh-oh, something that was on uncle, so whatever. Jesus broke the curse. The Bible said he delivered us from the curse by becoming a curse for us. So we're free of that junk. Hallelujah. Well, love everybody around about you and tell somebody this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. 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 Well, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, bless the Lord. It sure is good to see you tonight. I'm glad that you're here. God bless you. You're a blessing to me. I bless you in return. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Debbie couldn't be with us tonight, but she's blowing you kisses right now. She loves you. She sends you her best, and uh, you'll see her on Sunday, if not sooner. And uh, blessings, blessings from her to you. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and smile real big and say, I am so glad to see you. Amen. That's the truth. Glory to God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Grandview. We're glad that you're here. Bienvenidos. Welcome. We have a few folks in the hospital that we want to pray for uh, tonight. Marge is in the hospital. Tony's in the hospital. Angela is in the hospital. And they're doing great. They're on recovery. Victory, victory, victory. Say faith, faith, faith. faith. That works. Amen. We've been getting uh, daily praise reports and updates and and it is all just good news, good news, praise the Lord. And uh, Marge uh, had a fall and had some broken ribs. And so we're just asking for right now, right now, 
Um, no visits to the hospital, no phone calls uh, to the hospital. She is in recovery mode. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And she is recovering great. Praise God. You know, God can knit bones back together again. Amen. Amen. And then, and Tony had an infection, but he is, he is just 99%, just overnight, just doing so much better. And I mean, praise God. I think God visited him in the hospital. <laughs> I'm telling you what. And Carla's doing so much better, praise God. And um, Angela Harding is putting, and getting a stent. And she has very dramatic uh, testimony for God. Her husband, uh, Dwayne, and, and her, she, they just have a praise report to share. I'm not going to share the whole thing, but God really came through for them. I'm going to let them share it because it's, it's awesome. And you'll love it, and it's great. But she's going to have a procedure and have a stent put in. But my prayer with them this morning was, when the doctor goes in, uh, there's not even need for a stent. Amen. God can do that. He, he, he did that. He did that. And um, uh, so that's happened before. So it can happen again. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Welcome, everybody. Glad to see you. If you're here with us for the very first time, welcome. In the seat pocket in front of you, there's an information card. You can jot down some basic information and hang on to that card. And after the service, go to the Welcome Center at the back of the sanctuary, and they'll give you a gift and a smile and a handshake and an invitation to come be with us again. And we're glad that you're here. And everybody said amen, amen. and amen. If you want to help us in the helps ministry, we would love that. That would be a blessing. You come on ahead and jump in the deep end of the pool, and it'll be great. Serve for a month, just an hour a week, you know, in, in any of our departments, and you sure would be a blessing in that area. I know that you would. And then this Friday, March 22nd, at 11 o'clock in the morning, Women with Purpose. <laughs> Amen. They have so much fun. It's fantastic. And they have such a great time. And then Saturday, this Saturday, March 23rd, 55 and up, couples. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be so much fun. 2 o'clock in Cafe Rico on Saturday. And then the Next Generation Ministry and Impact is having their Easter celebration on Sunday the 24th. We're going to be celebrating Palm Sunday. They're going to be celebrating Easter because on actual Resurrection Sunday, we're all going to be together. And, res and, and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That'll be great. And then on that Friday before, Friday before is Good Friday. And that's our communion service. We have prayer for the sick. It's just fantastic. And so come for that. No Wednesday service next week. March 27th, no Wednesday service. Turn to your, turn to your neighbor and say, you can come if you want to, but I'm not going to be here. That's right. No Wednesday service. Amen. Well, y'all could come and stand under the portico or something and have a little prayer circle. That'd be fine. But Friday is the actual service. That's March 29th at 7 o'clock. And then mark your calendars for April 19th and 20th with Pastors Nate and Ronnie, Faith and Family Conference. It is going to be awesome. It's free. We're going to feed you lunch. It's going to be great. Bring friends and family. Bring everybody that you know because uh, those two are so anointed when it comes to things regarding family, uh, blessings and benefits, and just, just how the dynamics of a family works. And so if you're single, come. If you're married, come. If you know someone who's single, bring them. If you know someone who's married, bring them. It'll be great. So uh, come one, come all. Amen? Amen. 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 Deuteronomy 14 Verse 22, thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed that the field bringeth forth year by year. Everybody likes increase. We like increase. And so, but we need to tithe on that increase because the increase is God's and the tithe gives him the glory for it. That thou mayest learn to fear or reverence the Lord thy God always. So tithing teaches us reverence for the Lord. Well, that's an important lesson, right? To put God first. Say, put God first. Uh, that's a good thing. That's where he should be. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I mean, second is pretty good, but it's only second. You want God to be first. Other stuff can be second and third and fourth, but you want God to be first. 
Well, tithing helps us to put things in, in the right proper order in our life. So thou shalt truly tithe the increase that thou mayest learn to reverence the Lord thy God always. Honor is the attitude of faith. Honor is the magnet of your faith. Say, I am, I am. a person of, faith, person of faith, so I honor the Lord with everything I got, with everything I am. I honor God. And in that honor, I attract the favor of God. And in that favor, I attract the blessings of the Lord. So, so when you honor the Lord with the tithe, you attract His favor and you attract His blessing. And the church said, Amen and Amen. Let's get ready to sow into the kingdom right now. Praise the Lord. Let's hold our seat up before the Lord. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this opportunity to sow good seed into good ground. And we declare that this seed will bring a harvest. Souls saved, bodies healed, lives changed. In Jesus' holy name we pray. We say amen and amen. God bless you in your giving.